Hey guys, it's Monday, it's starting to be a week, February 27th, 2023. Today's going to be a six count session. Um, definitely not feeling it today. Just um, a little off, a little off, uh, physically tired, um, emotionally not geared up. None of these are excuses. Again, it's just a description. Um, I am going to give myself um, an easier avenue today. The uh, agenda is supposed to be 3 minutes, 13 reps a minute. I'm going to hit that. Um, and of course I'm going to get my 20 minutes in. Whatever happens after that 3 minutes, um, completely fine. You know, it is what it is, it will be what it will be. Um, I'm certainly going to see how long I can hold 12s for, but I'm going to try to hold them comfortably without um, overly extending myself mentally. Physically, you know, you do what you do. Um, for me, it all seems geared to, you know, if my mind is locked in, if the reps are flowing as it was the last two days, two sessions <coughs> of six counts. Um, great. This is my third session in. Um, I'm supposed to be going strictly by the schedule, which I which I know. I'm supposed to be in my 220s to hit 226 today. Maybe um, 227, something like that. However, um, I hit 239, 238 and 239, my first session in. I hit 240, my last six count session, or second session. So I'm ahead of the game. Uh, if the training block were to end now, um, I'd be feeling pretty good about things. Let's just hit that go button, take a sip of water. And here's the thing let's be curious. What can I do today feeling like I do? I don't have to change the way I do. I don't have to psych myself up. I don't have to gear myself up, slip into another uh, frame of mind, slip into another gear. Um, I just have to be curious. What can I accomplish today? It doesn't even have to be an accomplishment. What can I do today? Given how I feel physically, with the body that I have today, given where my mind's at. Um, let's play. It's all a game. It can be a serious game, it's still a game. Five seconds. Three minutes. One, two, three, four, five. One. One, two, three, four, five. Two. One, two, three, four, five. Three. One, two, three, four, five, four. One, two, three, four, five, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, seven. One, two, three, four, five, eight. One, two, three, four, five, nine. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, three, four, five, two. One, two, three, four, five, three. One, two, three, four, five, four. One, two, three, four, five, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, seven. One, two, three, four, five, eight. One, two, three, four, five, nine. One, two, three, four, five, ten. One, two, three, four, five, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, twelve. 
three, four, five. One, five, two, three, four, five, two. Five, two, three, four, five, three. Five, two, three, four, five, four. Five, two, three, four, five, five. Five, two, three, four, five, six. Five, two, three, four, five, seven. Five, two, three, four, five, eight. Five, two, three, four, five, nine. Five, two, three, four, five, ten. Five, two, three, four, five, eleven. Five, two, three, four, five, twelve. Five, two, three, four, five, one. Five, two, three, four, five, two. Five, two, three, four, five, three. Five, two, three, four, five, four. Five, two, three, four, five, five. Five, two, three, four, five, six. Five, two, three, four, five, seven. Five, two, three, four, five, eight. One, two, three, four, five, nine. One, two, three, four, five, ten. One, two, three, four, five, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, three, four, five, two. One, two, three, four, five, three. One, two, three, four, five, four. One, two, three, four, five, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, seven. One, two, three, four, five, eight. One, two, three, four, five, nine. One, two, three, four, five, ten. One, two, three, four, five, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, three, four, five, two. One, two, three, four, five, three. One, two, three, four, five, four. One, two, three, four, five, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, eight. One, two, three, four, five, nine. One, two, three, four, five, ten. One, two, three, four, five, eleven.
three, four, five, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, three, four, five, two. One, two, three, four, five, three. One, two, three, four, five, four. One, two, three, four, five, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, seven. One, two, three, four, five, eight. One, two, three, four, five, nine. Two, three, four, five, ten. One, two, three, four, five, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, three, four, five, two. One, two, three, four, five, three. One, two, three, four, five, four. One, two, three, four, five, five. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, seven. One, two, three, four, five, eight. One, two, three, four, five, nine. One, two, three, four, five, ten. One, two, three, four, five, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, three, four, five, two. One, two, three, four, five. Three. One, two, three, four, five, four. One, two, three, four, five, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, seven. One, two, three, four, five, eight. One, two, three, four. Two, 
three, four, five, ten. One, two, three, four, five, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, three, four, five, two. One, two, three, four, five, three. One, two, three, four, five, four. One, two, three, four, five, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, seven. One, two, three, four, five, eight. One, two, three, four. I think I hit 240. I don't remember how many 11s I got. Let's say four. So, if it's four, <coughs> if I were to get 12 all the way across, it would be 240. Let's subtract four, 236, 13, Three thirteens, two thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, two forty, two forty one. If I count that last, very last burpee, <coughs> two forty. If I don't, 
I'm counting two forty one. You guys can count what you want. <coughs> tradition, especially in Kabbalah, where they say God is, and then they leave a blank, because whatever experience, whatever's happening, whatever is this, is, is God. God is. Now, you can say the same with happiness. <clears throat> I'm happy. Whatever follows after that is just a condition unaffected by that state of joyful happiness. However, <clears throat> a 240-241 is nothing to be, nothing to sneeze at. Um, 15 minutes in <clears throat> um, is when I'm losing steam with my 12s. Push it just a little hard to uh, maintain it on the minute. If I were to go, you need to have to go a little bit faster, which isn't easy to do at that point, <coughs> or go over the minute, which means I got to work faster the next minute. Um, so it's a trade-off. Better to drop to 11. At least then I had five seconds to recompose myself. holding the 12s longer throughout, session after session, than they have in quite some time. I don't want to jinx that. I don't know how long it's continue. It will continue. I don't know long, how long it has to continue. It doesn't matter. Um, because it's still solid gains. So I need to review the tape and see how long I held 12 for. I know at least 13 for the first three minutes, and then I believe up to minute 15. So. I'll definitely review the last five minutes. <coughs> Not bad. <coughs> I think the easy strength has been helpful. It's taken me some time to adjust. I'm still sore um, in spite of the fact that it's a low volume workout. But it's low volume in conjunction with high volume burpees. So <clears throat> it's a trade off. But I think I've gained some strength even in the short amount of time. And strength carries over. Strong an athlete is going to perform better cardiovascularly than a weaker athlete. Um, because muscle is, above all else, should be functional. <clears throat> now, different sports, you don't want to carry too much. Um, it doesn't pay for a boxer to look like a bodybuilder, to have that sort of um, uh, muscle walk. Um, because it's just more to carry around for 12, 12 rounds. That's why you never saw super heavily muscled athletes up until um, Evander Holyfield, Ken Norton before him, uh, a few others. But even then, they were they were sleek. You know what I mean? It wasn't excess bulk. 
polyfill needed that to move up from cruiserweight um, to heavyweight. But in fact, he worked out with Lee Cheney, uh, the Mr. Olympia at the time. Some might argue the greatest bodybuilder. Um, and you know what? I wouldn't argue against it. I know Ronnie Coleman won the title eight times as well. But, you know, he was big, he was strong. He just, in my opinion, didn't have the aesthetics that Lee Haney had. Just my opinion. I don't know if any of my Berkeley friends follow bodybuilding at all or followed it. <coughs> I trained for bodybuilding for quite some time. Never competed, um, although I did have a sign-up form. And almost two times I signed up for uh, Teenage Mr. Uh, Baltimore, Teenage Mr. Naples. But I just, I didn't have the, um, didn't have the temperament being up there on stage. I was too introverted. All right. I'm gonna try for two sets of five, or five pounds, an extra five pounds. Relatively easy. Nothing big today. I did, uh, sets of ones with 15 and 20 pounds yesterday. Question is, what am I going to do with 16? I know I'm going to press two sets of five. I'll do a little easier, sort of. Do two sets of four. Try a double with the 16 or the 18. Yeah, I've trained uh, bodybuilding in my teens up until um, I guess about 17, 18. I took a break. Um, I still was active. I still worked out. Um, I did Taekwondo. Um, and rock climbing. A ton of backpacking. I was running to stay in shape, stay in shape for backpacking. A little bit of rock climbing. 
some canoeing, some hacking, anything outdoors, I was there. Um, did tons of backpacking with a heavy load up and down the Appalachian Trail, which is about a 45 minute drive from my house. That's a five. I trained for bodybuilding again and then switched over to some heavier lifting, power lifting, a few local bench press competitions, uh, mostly gym lifts. And then Olympic lifting again, mostly gym lifts. I enjoyed it. Kettlebells and kettlebell sport. We'll turn this back on. Four reps. Take a break. We'll shoot for two with my 18. One more set of presses. <coughs> I'm going to set of goblet squats in between though. 18 again, I did this yesterday. So one of these days, I'm going to have just enough in me to get um, two or three more minutes <coughs> with those skulls. Get it all the way across the board and have a little extra in that last minute. Um, I'm not going to ride this wave for too long. Um, I'm going to end it before um, it falls through. So probably one more one more minute of 13s. Now I've done 13 for <coughs> um, I've done 13 for. Let me use my wraps for this. Uh, nine minutes across. However. I believe I went down immediately to 11s to finish off. Since I'm holding 12s for longer, what I'm trying to do is push the 12s as I do my 13s. So I'm not pushing the 13s 
too hard for too long. Um, and we'll see how that works. So far it's been feeling pretty good and it's taken a lot of mental pressure off of knowing I gotta hold that uh, threshold. And it is, for me, it is a, a bit of a red line threshold to hold. Two reps. on that for a little bit of time. Swings coming up for the finish. Let's stick with the 22. I did that yesterday. Let's get this a little close, closer. One day, maybe, I will not be quite so low tech with my videos. Although I am a low tech, low tech type of person. I don't enjoy uh, electronics fooling around with things that be, are beyond my capability to fidget with. Um, honestly, I'd love to start a podcast talking about whatever. Um, picking up where Joe and Lee uh, left off. Um, talking to the burpee community as well as talking to some of my uh, meditation non-duality, headless friends, talking about ultra running, talking about kettlebell sport. Basically, a stream of conscious podcast, but I have no idea how to do it. Um, and I wouldn't want to do, all I want to do is talk. Um, again, the, the technical stuff, um, not only, I mean, I, I can learn how to do it, but I just don't enjoy it, and it takes away, um, takes away time where I'd rather be talking to somebody, where I'd rather be exploring breath work, where I'd rather be meditating, where I'd rather be writing. Um, the numerous things, walking with my dog, spending time with people I care about. Um, and a podcast would be up there with one of the things I care about. But again, just the, the technical stuff. Um, not only is it daunting, um, it just doesn't seem joyful for me. Some people find it extremely so. 
along those lines, um, it's been mentioned to me a few times um, when I talk about uh, being a caregiver for my father, being a co-caregiver, um, my father and my mother, um, through her long journey through Alzheimer's, um, that I should turn um, some skill, some of the hard-acquired skill of caregiving towards um, using it as a profession, offering it to other people, offering those services. But I am not a skilled, skilled or natural caregiver. It's different when it's your father, when it's your mother. I was patient and attentive because they were patient and attentive to me, uh, especially my father. Um, and it's what the moment called for. I can't guarantee that I would be that person towards somebody else, although I suspect that, you know, I would be patient and I would be attentive, but I, I just don't think I would have the same depth. Uh, of course I wouldn't, though, because it's, you know, you can't bring that to that depth, at least, towards everyone. What I would like to do, though, is the skill that I have, which is uh, teaching meditation, which is teaching breath work, teaching some of the other uh, modalities that I've studied um, through the years, ways of relaxing, um, spiritual inquiry, and things along those lines, um, offer two caregivers. There is nothing better than breath work for a caregiver. You might not always get to have the time to um, meditate for 20 minutes or 30 minutes twice a day, even once a day, even 15 minutes once a day. However, you can do five minutes or less three times throughout the day of breath work, which gives you many of the benefits, some even more and more immediate and long and lasting than meditation. So physically, emotionally, breath work is where it's at. Um, if I could give that to caregivers, then I feel like I'm fulfilling a, a greater mission than being a caregiver myself. Um, it seems to me that the world is in need, I mentioned this yesterday, and I believe the day before, the world is in need of a little more, we're in a kindness crisis, we're in an empathy crisis, uh, we're in short supply of both of them, because it's easier to be a troll. And not only that, um, we are quick to want to show people what we know. We want to put our knowledge in the place of mystery. If somebody writes something, we are uh, we want to jump in and show them that we know something more, or we know something greater, or um, we have a greater knowledge than they do. Um, you know, it's I am very often uh, yoga explained um, or non-duality explained. Then uh, it's funny, even if you talk about non-duality, you talk about losing yourself, about not knowing, of knowing nothing, people want to jump in and let you know that they know more about nothing than you know about nothing. Uh, it's the great nothing off. Um, and of course, nobody wins. Nobody wins in a debate like that. Um, because simply, we all, it's what I loved about uh, the Douglas Harding experiments, the pointing, non-duality, headless pointing. Because you can't argue it. What you see is what you see. Um, and it can't be argued. It can't really be explained. Now, when you give your definition of what's seen, <coughs> it might not match up with someone else's. It might not even match up with what you truly, truly experience. Because words always fail us. Even the best poet um, is going to fail in the use of words. Um, however, we take these descriptions as reality when they're offered by other people. And we want to argue when we want to debate. Um, a, a debate on spiritual issues to me seems to be just a, um, a laughable offense. <clears throat> so anything that we can do, anything that I can do that um, reminds me to be kind, reminds me to drop my descriptions, to drop my demands, to drop my expectations. Now, of course, if you remember Carlos Castaneda talking about petty tyrants. We all need a petty tyrant in our life. Uh, these days we have many. 
and a petty tyrant's job is to reduce our self-importance. Um, they remind us that death is always nearby, lurking on our left side, ready to tap us on the shoulder. And whenever we're confronted with our own personal petty tyrant that comes with many faces in many situations, every day, every hour sometimes, online, in line, car traffic jams, wherever, um, if we can learn to reduce our self-importance just a little bit, then we're being kinder to ourselves. And once we're kinder to ourselves, once we have that compassion towards ourselves, the world opens up in empathy. We begin to understand where others are coming from. The petty tyrant is just fulfilling his role um, and is often left wondering, why? Why was I so demanding? You know, they seem self-satisfied, but that doesn't last. I don't think any uh, internet troll or personal troll or petty tyrant goes to bed at night thinking that they are fully satisfied with the job they did today. So I destroyed some poor guy online tonight. Um, I can sleep well. Uh, and made fun of someone trying, trying their best. Um, you know, who wants to experience that? Who wants to be the cause of having someone feeling bad about themselves? I don't think anyone truly, but sometimes people need a reminder and that's the role of being kind and having empathy, understanding and learning to smile. Just letting things go and smiling. A petty tyrant will be a petty tyrant. All right, guys. I wandered all over the place today. Um, it's the price I pay for lack of oxygen in my head. Um, I will talk to everyone tomorrow. Have a good beginning of the week. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.